welcome to this, my very first ever video tutorial. So what I'm going to talk about today is this lighting setup that I use for product shots. I use it for, for lenses if I'm putting them on eBay and that sort of thing. It's a low key um, sort of style, so nice black background, black base, all that sort of thing. I'm using a, um, a, a cheap product box which I bought off Amazon for about 20 quid. Uh, that's my backdrop. So that's the background it's like a black seamless that's going to work quite well hopefully on the right hand side i've got my 120 centimeter uh, octagonal softbox with a speed light in there um, it's a really big light source which is exactly what we want so it should create some nice soft light with no harsh shadows and that sort of thing the base is a black porcelain floor tile which we just got when we were doing our kitchen works really well it's a bit heavy so it's, it's difficult to lug around but for this sort of thing it works quite well it's got just the right amount of reflection as you can see on the on the lens it reflects on the bottom and on the left hand side we've got a diffuser it's actually the side wall of the little product box um, but it works really well as both a diffuser and actually as a reflector so you can use it to reflect the uh, the main light source so we'll, we'll give that a go shortly in terms of camera settings, I'm shooting manual uh, with the Sony a7. I'm shooting at ISO 100 just because I want the cleanest files I can and obviously um, I'm using flash so I don't need to worry about low light and all that sort of thing. Um, I go for f8. I know this lens um, is sharp at f8 and I get a nice wide depth of field so everything will be in focus and I'm going for 1 200th of a second which is my uh, max sync speed with this camera. So that should kill all the ambient light, which would be perfect. It would just be the flash light in the subject. So I've got another flash. I've got it on 24 mil. If you've got a flash that zooms, I always put it to the widest setting because then it'll fill the softbox. It's quite a big softbox, this 120 centimeter. So I want it nice and wide. And I've gone for the lowest power, which is one 128th power. Um, I generally start at that. I'll start at the lowest power and then I can work my way up the power as I go. If it's too dark, which you probably will, We'll just increase the power. So here we go, we're going to take our first shot. So let's give this a whirl. And there we go, if we have a quick look, yeah, as expected, it's really underexposed. So we're going to have to knock that flash up. So I'm going to double the flash from 128 to 164. So it's double the power. We'll take another shot. Let's have a look at this one. Um, still a little, little bit underexposed, probably one or two stops. So this time around, we're going to knock it from 164, double up to 132, and again to 116th. So two extra stops of light, hopefully. We should have a nicely exposed shot. Which we do. That looks about right. Um, the right side of the lens looks nicely exposed. Um, obviously the left side is a little bit dark, but we'll, we'll sort that out in a moment. Um, that's how I always do my main light source. Start at the lowest take a shot, nope, underexposed, double, double up, take another one, underexposed, and just keep going, it's the easiest way, and you just, you'll see the difference every shot, and then when you think you're about right, stop, leave it there, and then you can crack on. So that's the main light source sorted, the right side of the lens, now we need to worry about the left side, because that's a little bit underexposed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this reflector, um, you can use anything, you can use a bog standard reflector or even just a white bit of card. And I'm going to move it in as close as I can without it being in the shot. And straight away you can see that left side is a little bit brighter. Still not bright enough, but a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my second flash. I'm going to set this up on the left hand side. I'm going to set it to its lowest power again, so 1, 128th. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce it off this wall, which is going to light that with the, the white reflector and hopefully provide a little bit of extra light and it's a little bit bright it's the left side is still underexposed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to knock that flash from 128 to 164 and we'll try again then you can see it's starting to, to build up starting to balance out a little bit it's still underexposed so again we're going to go from 164 to 132 so double up we'll have a look at this one and that's starting to look much more like it, maybe a tad underexposed. So we'll go one more. And we'll go from 32 to 16. 
and here we go that looks spot on it's nicely balanced we've got equal light on the right and the, the left hand side nothing's overexposed and nothing's really underexposed um, we get the dark bit in the middle which i like um, and we've got some reflections in the base so pretty happy with that not half bad so that's it as i say nothing too complicated i can get this um set up take a handful of shots and get it uh, all disassembled probably in about an hour so it's nice and quick i think it looks quite quite good so um yeah be sure to give it a go if you've got any questions just let me know and i'll answer what i can thanks for watching